This week on Supercars Talk, I take a look at the news stories from during the week. So, even though it's the off-season, the news hasn't stopped yet. Uh, we've had a few, well, not signings, but announcements this week. Um, probably the worst kept secret in supercars all year. Chas Mostert confirmed at Walkinshaws. Um, looks like Adam Debore is going there too. Um, I think that's been kind of known for a long time as well. Um, the hot rumour is that Bryce Forward's going to be his teammate. That'll be a strong line up there. Um, uh, and I think definitely getting Adam Debore in as his engineer, that was probably part of the whole package that was sold to Chaz. Um, and uh, that's going to speed up his process, I suppose, you know, getting to grips with the new team and um, definitely strengthen their engineering side there, getting in someone new with some fresh ideas. Um, the other big confirmation this week, uh, Todd Hazelwood has gone to BJR. He's taking over Tim Slade's old seat. Um, Alliance Truck Parts is going to be sponsoring that. Uh, not sure if we're going to see Freightliner on the car anymore, but uh, yeah, we did see him in the, with the announcement in an Alliance Truck Parts hat. Um, great move for Todd. Um, probably the first time he's going to get a paycheck in his career. <laughs> my, might not have to do any more of those sausage sizzles anymore. The other announcement during the week was uh, Jack LeBrock is going to take Chas Mostert's seat at Tickford. Um, he's going to be in the super cheap car. Uh, thought it was a bit strange last week when um, we found out that Lee Holdsworth was going to be racing in the truck assist colours, uh, not Jack LeBrock. Um, it seems uh, that Truck Assist is still going to have a personal sponsorship agreement with Jack, uh, but he's going to be the face of Super Cheap. Um, probably Super Cheap looking to the future there, seeing Lee as um, a short term kind of prospect there. Um, probably the big thing with the signings at Tickford was uh, no seat for Thomas Randall. Um, so I'm not sure what's going to happen there, whether. Um, because Rusty French, who's one of the co-owners of Tickford, he's basically been bankrolling um, Thomas's run in Super 2. Uh, he, he's the Sky Sands owner. Um, so it'll be interesting to see whether he bankrolls another year in Super 2 for Thomas. Um, maybe go for that $400,000 prize to, you know, help, them, help him step up next year. Um, but I would have thought it would have been a good time, you know... Do we need to keep Lee? Um, probably Lee Holdsworth bashing a little bit here, but you have all these all these fans that complain that someone like Thomas Randall doesn't have a seat, but then you have all these fans that if Lee Holdsworth or you know like Mock Caruso, Garth Tander, that Garth Tander should have a seat, um, but you know guys like um, well Tim Slade now looks like he's out of a seat. You have a lot of fans complaining that guys like that, oh, they deserve a seat, rah, 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 and whatever, but then, oh, none of these young blokes get a shot. Well, at some point, you know, we've got to start shuffling things around. Um, if I was Tickford, I would probably would have taken a punt on Randall instead of signing Lee again. Um, sometimes these things aren't as simple. You know, maybe Truck Assist wasn't going to jump on board unless it was a named driver. Um, yeah. Don't know. Um, don't know what the answer is on that one. The other announcement during the week, uh, Luke Yulden, he's decided to retire. Funnily enough, Luke has never done a sprint round in all his time. I think it was 2000 that he had his first um, start in supercars. Um, been a co-driver only that whole time. Um, the big highlight was his 2017 Bathurst win with Dave Reynolds. Um, he's decided, I th think probably, uh, he seemed to struggle a little bit this year. Um, you'll probably see a little bit of the writing on the wall. You know, you got guys like uh, Lowndes and Tander and that. Um, just outstanding co-drivers. Um, the big rumour at the moment is that Tim Slade is going to take that seat, which would be a great signing for Erebus. Um, I thought that we might have seen... Um, either Jordan Boys or Brock Feeney, who are, you know, guys kind of in that Erebus Academy 
maybe making the step up next year. Um, but there's also that, you know, we want to get these young blokes up, but also you've got to look at, well, you know, Dave could be in a shot at the championship or, you know, definitely a shot at winning Bathurst. Do you want someone quite as green as those two co-driving with um, Dave? Um, and, uh, you know, do you want to split up the, you know, Anton Will Brown situation unless Will Brown has a full-time drive, which I'm hearing he doesn't, but there is potential that Erebus is going to run a, a wild card and a few rounds for him next year. Could we also see Tim Slay, you know, maybe a bit of a wild car sharing agreement there. Um, speaking of sharing cars as well, it's looking like that second, um, the Matt Stone second entry, that there's not, it's looking like Gary Jacobson's driving the 35, I assume. Um, and then whatever the, you know, their second entry, uh, looks like they're trying to get across the line where two drivers um, share the car. And it looks like it's, I, I have heard that Kostecki's were going to share it. Um, and I'm also hearing that it's going to be Kurt and Zane Goddard, um, who's been a front runner in Super 2 all year, um, sharing it. Don't know. Um, don't know. But we might have something confirmed, you know, before the start of the year. Now, it's kind of been announced. Um, we're going to a control damper next year. Looks like it's going to be Super Shock. Surprise, surprise. Um, but it looks like it's going to be branded as a Pedders Shock. Um, a, a, a branding arrangement, I suppose. So Pedders can say, oh, you know, supercars have got Pedders Shocks in them. I think this change is long overdue and it's great also that, you know, there's a bit of a commercial arrangement around it. Um, it is, um, I'm not sure if they're subsidising the cost of a bit or coming in as a bit of, you know, a series sponsor kind of. Um, either way, a bit more money in the category is great. Um, and also, this is a great cost saving measure um, and it just takes away that. Um, um, unfortunately, I'm not quite against teams, you know engineering an advantage but you know some of these areas are just teams are spending mega dollars on and you know for the fan they don't know what shocks are in the car they, they don't know what they do half the time things like that um you know it's you know wacky scientists work all that stuff out um ludo Acquire apparently is great at it um, yeah, I think this is a, a great step to the category uh, and also they're going to be a sealed item. I think they're going to, in Supercars fashion, put a little bit of tape on there that if you break the bit of tape, they'll know that you've opened it and made some modifications. Um, you can adjust them, but you can't pull them apart and change any internals or anything. So, you know, you just get them out of the Super Shop truck at the side of the track that will probably have big Petters banners on it. And um, yeah, you go and bolt them in the car and everyone has the same little tool to play with and that's it. No questions asked. Everyone the same, stop spending money in that, or bulk amounts of money in that area. Step in the right direction, definitely. Now over the week, another storm in the teacup has been taking place. Uh, there's been a bit of a, you know, a shit storm over Instagram or whatever it was, um, some kind of social media platform. Uh, the whole Scott McLaughlin, Bathurst engine, blah, 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 blah. So let's not get into, you know, the, the, the engine was going wrong. It had a problem with it and, you know, super guys found that there was a problem with it. Um, they let them change it because there was a problem with it. You know, uh, interesting that they got a fine for that one. Anyway. So there was, I think it was Scott Pye, Nick Perkat, Ryan Walkinshaw started posting stuff about how Scott's a cheat and, you know, he sh shouldn't be happy with his championship. It's all been tainted and all this kind of stuff. So Scotty comes back and says, you know, you're all haters and hashtag 44 blessed and all that kind of junk. And anyway, it's, who cares? It's crap on social media. Wow. Um, don't take it to heart, people. Anyway, so now Supercars has come out and said, oh, m maybe we should take control of, you know, what the teams and drivers and personalities and all that 
you know, what they should put on social media. There should be some guidelines. Um, didn't it wasn't that long ago they wanted drivers to put more stuff on social media and you know it was all great at the start of the year we had you know Reynolds and McLaughlin crashing into each other at Townsville and we had the podcast wars and all that kind of crap that they were talking up Jesus Christ every single time that they got near each other on track you know Jesse Yates and that were you know nearly having an orgasm because oh, the podcast wars and that kind of junk it, once again, like these idiots who want to keep every driver that ever drove in the category in the category and every driver that's, you know, good in Super 2 into the category and things like that. Unfortunately, there has to be a bit of give and take. So, do we want the drivers to kind of, you know, we're in situations like this, do we want them to bag at each other on Instagram or... Do we want them all to be like, oh, best friends, friend, football friend, you know, let's go and get lattes together and train together and all of that kind of crap. Or do we want the Russell Ingall, like, you're all a pack of dicks, I, you know, outside of the weekend, I don't want to see you kind of thing. Um, you know, maybe a bit of middle ground, you know, some of them can be friends, some of them can hate each other. They want to call each other a dickhead over Instagram. Well, that's fine, you know. Um, and if you're going to really, if it's just a bit of, you know, a bit of a dig at each other on Instagram, who cares? You know, maybe some of the stuff where you get people, you know, I'm going to kill you or something like that. Or, you know, I'm not saying, you know, there, there is kids out there who have taken their own lives. That's um, because of bullying and all that kind of stuff. But if there's, you know, a, a bit of banter between people, you know, that's good for the sport. We should see more of that. Supercars, just kind of maybe get them all to go in, you know, one of the driver's briefings or something like that. Get them all in a room and go, you know, there's a line here, people. We don't want to push past the line, but we want a bit of, you know, a bit of banter and that between you guys. That's fine, you know. There's a bit of a line, don't go over it. Um, like, don't say that the um, stewards are too busy getting on the booze the night before and aren't paying attention. That's probably pushing it over the line, you know. If, you know, having a bit of a go at Scott about having a, um, you know, engine that was about to blow up at Bathurst. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, let them go, post what they want as long as it doesn't cause suicides. Um, so I think that's um, covered most of the crap from this week. Um, there's still a bit going on considering it's the off season. So um, yeah, I'll um, cover the news until we've got no news. And then I might do some of those special features I keep promising myself that I'm going to do. Uh, so until next time, I'll see you later. Put away your inhibitions. Let the beast in you just get loose. We all young, wild and